Okay, so this is the sixth section of chapter seven on trigonometry and modeling. And here we're going to be proving trig identities. So there's no new content here. This is just using all the identities we've got so far. So let's write them down. Sine over cos, tan, cos over sine, cot. Um, 1 plus tan squared sec squared 1 plus cot squared cosec squared um, sine squared plus cos squared is 1 then we've got our sine a plus or minus b sine a cos b plus or minus cos a sine b then we've got our cos um, a plus or minus b you get the idea cos a cos b minus plus sine a sine b and then we've got the same for tan um, so we're going to have tan a plus tan b all over one um there's a bit of plus minus there minus plus tan a times tan b and then we've also got the double angle as well i'm not going to write all of those out we've got those already from previous lessons um simply because my hand's getting tired writing all these things out so let's have a go at some questions right part a show that that statement gives you that statement right well the first thing that i notice is that this bit here just that bit to me that looks that's reminding me of two sine a cos a which i know is the double angle for sine so what i'm thinking is just that bit the first bit i could write as sine 2 of the angle two lots of this and two lots of that is just going to be theta so this bit here i reckon i could write just as sine theta so think about that as that double angle so i've got sine theta cos theta and looking at this um, again reminds me of the double angle two sine theta cos theta but i'm missing a two it's only half of it so what i've got there is only half of the double angle so then we're done just two steps part b right one plus four theta is two cos squared two theta okay um the cos four theta is like a double angle of 2 theta so think of it like this cos 4 theta uh, if i use cos and i write it out you might see what i mean 2 cos squared 2 theta minus 1 can you see that it's basically a double angle but it's a double angle of 2 theta Okay, so it'll be one plus, and then we'll change the cos four theta to two cos squared two theta minus one. All right, there we go. Finish two cos squared two theta because the ones cancel out. Okay, so we want to prove this identity here. So we'll write 
what the double angle for tan is um, and that's going to be 2 tan a uh, not a theta in this case over 1 minus tan squared theta okay um, notice that we've got cot so let's see what we can do with this I've got this um, denominator here um, I suppose what I could do because I want to there's no tan squared in the answer let's divide the top and the bottom by tan because I'm looking at this and it sort of seems similar to that and if I divide by tan I'll get rid of that tan squared won't I so then at the top uh, if I divide by tan I'm just left with 2 that looks promising then at the bottom uh, if I divide the 1 by tan I get 1 over tan and then the tan squared just becomes tan which I wanted and then I can see that 1 over tan well I know that's cot so cot theta minus tan theta done yeah sometimes these identities shouldn't take long to do normally it's like a mark per bit of working that you do so if something's worth three marks think about three steps if something's worth five marks five steps what you shouldn't have if something is worth three or four marks and you've got half a page of working you'll need to go back and do it again it shouldn't be that mark much one mark per step so probably a question like this might be two three marks okay so we've got another one here um, prove that what we have on the left is what we've got on the right now this is the method from the previous section I think what we're going to do we're going to write this in the form R cos theta minus alpha that's that matches up doesn't it so we're going to find R and alpha so R is just going to be the square root of root 3 squared plus 1 squared so that's root 4 which is 2 and then alpha is going to be the tan inverse of either root 3 over 1 or 1 over root 3 now because I have cos here if I were to expand that cos I'll write it out but you know I think after you've done this a few times you should be able to do it in your head cos alpha sorry cos theta cos alpha plus sine uh, theta sine alpha right so what numbers match up so I can see that where this is there's a root 3 there and where this is there's a 1 there so 1 over root 3 Right, tan inverse in degrees, no radians, because I've got pi over 6. Tan inverse of 1 over root 3 is pi over 6, that's good. Pi over 6. Right, so we're done, aren't we? Root 3, cos 4 theta plus sine 4 theta equal to 2 cos 2 was r 4 theta minus pi over 6 that was easy now why have i got 4 theta because look at what i've got over here yeah in previous questions we might have had x there all we've got is 4 theta there so we just put the four feet across that that's it basically okay
exercise 7F on pages 187 to 189.